Contemplations by Anne Bradstreet. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. Reading by Bologna Times. Some time now passed in the autumnal tide when Phoebus wanted but one hour to bed. The trees, all richly clad, yet void of pride, were gilded o'er by his rich golden head. Their leaves and fruits seemed painted, but was true, of green, of red, of yellow, mixed hue. Wrapped were my senses at this delectable view. I wist not what to wish, yet sure, thought I, if so much excellence abide below, how excellent is he that dwells on high, whose power and beauty by his works we know. Sure he is goodness, wisdom, glory, light, that hath this underworld so richly dight. More heaven than earth was here, no winter and no night. Then on a stately oak I cast mine eye, whose ruffling top the clouds seemed to aspire. How long since thou wast in thine infancy, thy strength and stature, more thy years admire. Hath hundred winters passed since thou wast born, or thousands since thou breakest thy shell of horn? If so, all these are not eternity doth scorn. I heard the merry grasshopper then sing, the black-clad cricket bear a second part. They kept one tune and played on the same string, seeming to glory in their little art. Shall creatures object thus their voices raise, and in their kind resound their master's praise, whilst I, as mute, can warble forth no higher lays? When I behold the heavens, as in their prime, and then the earth, though old, still clad in green, the stones and trees insensible of time, nor age nor wrinkle on their front are seen. If winter come, and greenness then do fade, a spring returns, and they more youthful made. But man grows old, lies down, remains where once he's laid. End of poem. This reading is in the public domain.